everyone. We are outside on the veranda at the beautiful Waterworks in Philadelphia. And of course, I have great company. I'm with executive chef Daryl Harmon, and we just saw him make some beautiful appetizers for us. And we have one on the table. Would you like to talk about that? Yes, we have our grilled halloumi cheese, with grilled pita bread, and a Anaheim pepper corn. Cool. Right. Now tell me about the food we just cooked. I noticed that plating the food is very important to you. Yes, it is. Is that, do you really look for the colors and colors. textures, or does yes. it, is it kind of just whatever goes with whatever um, you put it together? My style, I, I try to keep it like as a 100% attack on the senses. <laughs> okay, so, that's uh, great. So basically, um, you know, from texture to um, taste to smell, I like to attack all the senses. Okay. And tell us about what your favorite dish is. My favorite dish is the dish that's about to come out, and that's okay. the grilled octopus. Oh, there she and is. Okay. This is our signature dish on the menu. Okay. We sell more octopus than anything than else anything on the menu. Else. I, wow. If you come to the Waterworks, you have to have the octopus. I'm going to dig in. Oh. I changed the whole thing now, right? <laughs> that's tasty. Now, something special in this restaurant that you had brought to my attention before was that there's actually a table inside, Table 42. Oh, yes. Maybe you can tell us and tell everybody about that. Well, Table 42 is uh, the most romantic table in the restaurant. We had over 300 proposals wow. at Table 42. So if you want to get married... <laughs> come here and sit at Table 42. Come here, 42. sit at Table 42. Maybe you'll be the lucky one next time. You had two helpers. They're your sous chefs. Can yes. you tell me about them? And okay. Tell uh, everybody about them well, while I eat. Isaka Fofano is a sous chef and uh, okay. Curtis uh, Johnson. Um, I believe, you know, being an executive chef is great, but you have to have a team behind you, and that's what makes you better. Tell me about the history of this restaurant. Okay. Um, basically, the Waterworks was the first municipal water system in Philadelphia. It was wow. built in, uh, in 1812. Um, and it was built by Frederick Graff. So it was really significant uh, water system back in that day. Right after that, um, it was a public uh, aquarium and then it was a public pool. Yeah. That's so interesting. And then when did you come on board? I came on board in uh, 2007. Here for a while. For four years I now. mean, you can't get tired of looking at this no, view, right? No, it's a beautiful view, isn't it? This is my backyard. <laughs> this, this, is like, this is great. I mean, you can be anywhere. This is the place to be, I think, you know? Uh, so tell me about your inspirations. Who inspires yeah. you? Um, basically, I was inspired by a lot of Atlantic City chefs. Okay, was, uh, that's where I'm from. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I started off in Atlantic City in the casinos. Uh, started off at Valley's Park Place, Tajwell Hall. Worked with some great chefs there and um, learned a lot. And um, I became the vice president of the American Culinary Federation. Wow. Um, and um, now I'm here in Philadelphia, enjoying every bit of it. Well, chef, I guess executive chef, Daryl Harmon, thank you so much for taking the time to show us how to make some of these great staple foods that you have here at Waterworks. And we really appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us again for another episode of Meet the Chefs. And also for more episodes of Meet the Chefs and Just Dessert, you can check out acweekly.com at any time. And if you're a restaurant that would like to showcase your great food, go to acweekly.com. Thank you, everybody.